when we started the company, we started in our house because it didn't make any sense to put capital towards a space when we were doing everything online. So within a year and a half, um, we had product all over our house. We couldn't sit down in the living room to watch TV. You know, it was one of those things where it was like, okay, we probably should do something different. So we rented a warehouse that was walking distance from our home and it had no heat and no AC. And we actually had uh, a wheel builder who was a, a dear friend of mine who um, she would build the wheels at her house. So we would drop them off in the morning and then we would pick them up, you know, one to two days later after she hand built them. And so she was willing to come to a location because we were starting to get busy where doing all this driving around wasn't quite efficient. So, um, so yeah, we moved into that place and then um, within six months, we were maxed out. You know, Boyd and I were doing everything with the cleaning the wheels, specking the wheels, shipping them, working with the customers, doing the accounting, the marketing, um, and then she was doing a lot as well. So we hired another wheel builder. And so then we started to get to the point where we thought, oh my gosh, we are responsible for other people. And you can only think about it for a second or it'll completely, you know, <laughs> put you in a dark place. So we just, we've just forged ahead, you know, like I said earlier, once we made the decision to do this, you know, we decided this is the American dream. Like, we have the ability to drive our own destiny and take people along with us who are willing to, you know, go on this journey. So, um, so then within another year, we found another place that had heat and air, <laughs> and it was um, on the rabbit trail. And the gentleman that we rented from told us, he said, "I'll, you know, outfit the place the way that you need it." And so we moved in there, and that tripled our rent when it double or triple triple we by the time we left it was triple from the, the other right. place we went from uh, the original building with no heat no AC was uh, four hundred dollars a month yeah so. yeah yep so then we had a big rent and we had three employees plus Boyd and I and I just had a baby <laughs> we decided to throw a kid in the mix with all this <laughs> so you know we just kept going and the brand just kept growing you know we kept connecting with teams and you know showing that the product was high quality and because we were hand building it um, that really put us in a place where people saw us as a custom outfit so we're designing our own shapes our own hubs um, and then we were hand building so it just is a craft that people started to really respect.